Got a big welcome to Leighton Orient. How happy are you to get the move finalised? Uh, yeah, I'm delighted to get over the line um, early doors so that I can get into pre-season from day one and get around the group of lads and, and the management and just get a real good feel of the place. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm buzzing to get it over the line. Um, and now I've, I've got something to look forward to and, and I'm excited for pre-season to start and to get going with the season ahead. Mm. We were just talking there about your, your time at Bradford and you were such a regular there. I think it was over 80 consecutive league games played. So why, why now the move to Leighton Orient? Uh, I think a big thing for me this year was sort of coming back um, back down south, closer to home. And I'm a local lad here. I used to used to come to games when I was younger with my mates. Um, so was, when when I heard the the club were interested in me, it was, it was sort of a no brainer for me. Um, and yeah, just the the main thing was just to just to be back closer to home, back to to where my friends and family are all based. Um, and like uh, I was like grew up in Essex, so about 20 minutes away from the ground. Um, so it's just, I'm, I'm delighted to be back down here and, and I, just, I just can't wait to get going. Mm. In terms of on the pitch as well, it's going to be a big summer of change. We've seen the appointment of Kenny Jacket. That must also be a big attraction. Uh, yeah, massively. Um, when I got the call from him, uh, it, was a, it was a big shock to me. Um, but I mean, his, his record speaks for itself. Uh, he's, a, he's a big manager in this division. So I'm delighted to, to be given the opportunity to work with him and, and hopefully there's, there's plenty of, of big things to come for this season and the, the season ahead. Mm, absolutely, and, and touching on that, what are your ambitions whilst you're here as a, a Leighton Orient player? Uh, my ambitions here are, are to play as much as I can, uh, continue developing as a, as a player and as a person, uh, which I feel like I, I will do in this environment with the, the manager that we've got and the players that I'll have around me. Um, we're looking to build a, a really good squad here, so our ambitions are are to to have a right or go for it this season and and see where we end up in May. And I think everyone coming in and everyone that is here has, has very high ambitions for for the group of players that we'll have. Mm. You spoke about development there as, as a player, but before being at Bradford, you spent a couple of years at Leicester. How important was that for you as a player to develop? Uh, yeah, it was massive. It was my uh, my chance to get a, a foot in the door at a pro club. Um, I hadn't had any any previous experience of that, so. To be given that opportunity, uh, uh, they were newly crowned champions of the, of the Premier League at the time. So, um, yeah, it was going into the 23 setup. But to be in that environment and see see champions of of, uh, of England there and and be in and around that day in day out, it was massive for me. Um, I learned a load a load of stuff from from my two years there. Um, played plenty of football. Had, had plenty of unbelievable experiences in the group of lads that we had. Um, had some real good players in, like the likes of Hamza and, and Harvey, who are, you see now their their careers are, are huge and they've got unreal potential. So just to be in, a, in and around that environment was massive for me. And to be able to get that experience of, of being at a club like that and seeing how things are at the, at the very, very top, seeing how players are day in, day out, it's a, it was a massive learning curve for me and, and one that I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I'll always take bits from that. and developing my game from, from stuff that I've learned from there. We know you're a left back by trade, but for the Orient fans that might not have seen you play, how would you describe yourself? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a very attacking uh, a left back. I like to get involved in, in the attacks when possible. And I think the main part of my game is, is getting crosses in the box. Um, it's something that I've worked on uh, for the last few years. And I've really enjoyed just getting forward, getting involved putting balls in the box and, and hopefully getting a, a strike on the end of them, getting my assists and that. Um, but on the flip side of that, I'm, I'm one that will work, give it my all to, to sort of get back and defend and, and help the defence out and and be stable in our defence and, and do anything I can to keep a clean sheet. So I'm sure the season ahead, you'll see me sort of bombing up and down uh, the left-hand side, um, hopefully for the for the whole season. And, and I get another good season under my belt and, and yeah, hopefully we can get the fans back in and, and just show them what I can do and what we can do as a team. You mentioned them there, the fans. It's been a tough year with games behind closed doors. We've only got a couple of chances to get the fans in this season. So they're all desperate to get back in. And, and what would be your message to them ahead of the new season? Um, yeah, I think just just keep believing in us and, and hopefully we can get you in as soon as possible. Uh, definitely hope, like we hope that you can you can be here for the the very first game of the season or the, or the first home game even um, and and yeah just just keep supporting us keep being that 12th man and that voice behind us and 
I'm sure we'll, we'll put in the good performances for you on the pitch and, and give you something to, to cheer about. And, and yeah, just, just can't wait to sort of play, play in front of a, a packed out stadium here. Yeah.